How's it going everybody, Jacobo here and welcome to Unicorn Overlord. Let's get started. It's the demo. So let's do this. Loading, loading, loading. Ooh. We got a medieval thing going on here. Castle Grand Corrine, Inner Sanctum. I beg you, my queen, take leave of this place while you're still able. To where, I might ask? My every last of Cornea's lords has forsaken us in favor of the traitor Valmor. No refuge remains for a crowned fugitive. Yet the general seeks my death and mine alone. I shall not flee from that fate. Though you still can, a soul rider with Elaine at your side. Take him, Joseph. Raise that delicate seedling into a sturdy tree capable of weathering the harsh climbs that await. And pray safeguard the ring of the unicorn as well. close to you until Elaine is a man grown. He will have need of the power it bears. My queen, I... Mother? Are they coming for us? Elaine. I say this not as your mother, but as your queen. From here forth, you're to treat Joseph's command as though it were spoken directly with my tongue. Do you understand? Of course, but is there something amiss? My faith and more lies with you, Joseph. I only pray it is enough. Farewell, and may the heavens guide you. Why are you just standing there, Joseph? Aren't you going to help her? Would that I were able, my prince. Come, we've not a minute to spare. Okay, here we go. There are exits to the city. The queen has now left these walls alive. Our queen general reduced to little more than a, than a base traitor, hmm? You'll find my head not so easily parted from the, my shoulders, Valmore. I wonder if you can say the same. Come, everyone. We march this day for Her Majesty Elena. Alright, here we go. Okay, so. Unit movement. Move the cursor with L or left stick to select, uh, select allied units and command them to move across the battle stage. Select Queen Elena's unit and use the move command and make them move march towards Valmore's position. Okay, so this is the one I need. Okay. Oops, hold on. Oopsie. Okay, I get it now. There we go. I forgot how to do it. Uh oh. Take arms and face me. Brace yourself. Does this suit you? Ready yourself. Yo. 
will see no harm. We shall see our duty through. I trust you. How's this? Victory is ours. Yay. Okay. We will battle. On your card. I am your shield. Does this suit you? Witness the royal blade. I shall protect you. I am your shield. Behold my might. I trust you. Hmm. There we go. I never go. miss. This is giving me uh, fire emblem vibes. I have you. My magic is yours. Never cave. Okay, let's go. Off to Valmore. So do we need to wait till Okay, here we go. my throne self-centered fool it's not merely your throne i aspire towards it's all of them zenoira are the rightful sovereigns of feverith and i the blade to restore our world to its natural order you seek to plunge the continent into war <laughs> feverith need not suffer your delusions a proper ruler demands unity, not pointless politicking with insufferable neighbors. Now, I shall achieve that unity through conquest and reclaim that which is rightfully mine. I would sooner see you slain by my hand! Oh, goodness. Oh, no. You know, I actually, I actually um, own um, Fire Emblem Three Houses, so I might actually play that on the channel. Claiming himself a scion of the fallen Sonoiran Empire, Cordia's once decorated General Valmor rebelled against his erstwhile home at the seat of its monarchy, Grand Corin. I, I mean, I know he has Queen Alenia, bold in the face of this staggering betrayal stood unshrinking as the shield to her son Elaine's safe flight, 
and mustering what meager forces remain by her side, she rallied a defense as valorous as it was damned. With Cornea's queen lost, care of the young prince fell to her faithful knight, Joseph, who took wing beyond Valmor's wretched grasp to asylum on the forded isle of Palavia in the holy kingdom of Albion. Albion? There's his fable. proclaiming himself Bevereth's new emperor, Valmor donned a second name, Calarius, and began a relentless onslaught the continent's nations could only but struggle against. Oh no, he's Yet taking each over. Yet realm's endeavors fell in vain time and again. And ere long, Zenoira's vile dominion was realized. So all the Zenoira's there. Uh... His blood-soaked unification come to bear. Few dared stand against the ironclad fist of Emperor Galerius. Embers of resistance burned on. Yet the downtrodden okay. could cling only to furtive hopes of liberation. So Valor is the desperate prayers which fell upon deaf ears night after unceasing night. Zenor is the the the, the Ten kingdom years that have passed <laughs> since the shroud of war first set over Cornea. Cornea. Not to be confused with uh, Carnaria. That's the Star Fox. The Unicorn Ring. Altar of the Unicorn and Maiden. Uh, I wonder if those two are at it again. Well, that takes care of the altar. I suppose I should be getting back. Unicorn Overlord. Presented by Atlas. I've been playing a lot of Atlas games lately. Ace Escape. Sound production. Developed by Vanillaware. The Levian Coast. But this round's mine! Ah, you always were the optimist. Damn it! You got a good hit in, I'll give you that. There's just no stopping you these days. Yet you've grown no less than I have. Still, we could likely train for the rest of our lives and even then, never manage to best Joseph. Weird to think he's back on the mainland now. Finally making that Liberation Army thing a reality, huh? Guess that means we'll be going up against Anoira soon. Indeed it does. The people of Cornea are suffering, Lex. Crying out for whatever help will hear their pleas. Should I turn a deaf ear to those voices, I would have little and less claim to the crown I feel is mine. That, and I owe it to my mother to see them safe. Well, yeah, but... Zenoira's got the whole world in the palm of their hand. How are we gonna fight back against that? The Earth may be theirs, but the heavens will surely favor those who stand for justice. You got a point there. Sorry for not sounding all too confident. Just... make sure you don't take it all on yourself. I'll be with you every step of the way. Thank you, Lex. You know I can't do this without you. Oh, stop. You're gonna make me blush. <laughs> anyway, that's enough training for today. We're gonna miss lunch if we don't get moving. I suppose it is that time. Hmm? You see something out there? It's a ship. Oh, Looks pirates. Like they're flying Zenoira colors, too. Uh oh. This island is no longer safe. We have to tell the others. With you there. Man, they want everybody, the do they? Cathedral. I'll make sure the town knows what's coming. Seal off the harbor and do it quick! Not a soul gets off this island under our watch.
All soldiers have alighted, sir! Dispatch the vanguard to the cathedral. And remember, we're to apprehend the target alive. Understood, sir! So I guess they're all refugees from the invasion. Oh, Heavenly Father, ruler of land and sky above, we pray this day for deliverance from evil. Grant us the meager sustenance to nourish our fragile bodies in the times to come. Guide our lost souls on the path to salvation. Shine down your radiant light upon us, for darkness looms thick through all corners of Fevrith. Such is my request as your humble servant. In the name of the Guardian Unicorn, and that of the Holy Mother. Is that you, Elaine? Uh-oh. How many times must I ask you not to stomp around in the cathedral? <sighs> what is uh -oh. the meaning of this? Well, look what we've got here. Seems we're the first to show. Rough her up if you want, but don't forget. The girl dies, and our heads will roll too. Oh no, Such wait a minute. They were, um, they took it over by the Zenora. Father. Never mind. I thought they were yeah. refugees of then the... You best get to praying. She's fast. Not as fast as us. What the? <sighs> Scarlet, are you hurt? Only a little shaken, that's all. What's happening to us, Elaine? A ship has come ashore on Palavian soil. Oh, sorry. One I don't know why it was a... Uh... An and are they aware that you're the crown prince? I can't say for certain, but we know one thing. These people are our enemy, and they must be stopped. Yes. My cathedral will see no more bloodshed this day. Come, let's move outside. Okie dokie, uh oh. Your Highness, it's a relief to see you unharmed. Hold on, where's Lex? He went ahead to alert the town. We best find him and get to the harbor. Indeed. But first, my prince, this belongs to you. A ring. The Ring of the Unicorn. Queen Elenia wished for you to have it. In truth, I had intended to wait till signs of age played more deeply cross your face. But we no longer have such luxury. I have the utmost faith you'll see it secured. A keepsake from my mother. Thank you for this, Joseph. Truly. Make no further mention of it. Now, let us be off. Alright, let's go. Okay, battle stages. Battle stages are the field of combat where allied and enemy units wage war in real time. Each battle stage have vic vic sorry, victory conditions that may be f must be fulfilled in order to complete it, such as defeating an enemy commander. Deploying units. Allied units can be deployed for any base flying uh, yeah, yeah flying a blue flag okay first move the cursor to the command post and let's give alan units sorry, sorry elaine's units to order uh, sorry the order to deploy stage start okay so from command post oh no okay deploy Okay. Okay. Deploying a unit commu uh, consumes one valor point from the gauge displayed in the upper left of the screen. Valor points can be replenished by de defeating enemies, de liber liberating towns and fortresses, and more. Elaine, look. We already screeched the town. Or reached the town. Then we know our first aim. We must dispatch, uh, dispatch these shoulder, uh, sol soldiers as quick as possible. Alright, let's move the units to move to 
Battle. Battle menu. Okay, when an ally... Okay, we, we get it. It's a organized... Forces. Okay. You face me. Organize. Oh, they're all, uh... So I guess we're good right now. Let's battle. Okay, flow of battle. Battles to play out automatically according to various predetermined rules. First, in the combatant's initiative determines their turn order within battle. Okay, when a combatant turn arrives, they will one they will use one of their active skills. Using an active skill consumes AP points. Okay, command turn will take turns using active skills in order to in order according to its their initiatives. Battle with con will continue until all combatants run out of H AP. Passive skills will trigger automatically when certain conditions are met, such as being hit with an attack. First, Elaine's noble guard skill sorry, sorry noble guard skill triggers when he attacked when, when he is attacked. Causing him to protect himself. Using a pack of skill consumes passive points. Next, Scarlet's quick heal skill triggers when an ally takes damage, thus healing that ally. Easy now. Okay, part. Finally, the enemies. Parting blow skill triggers the at the, as the as the sorry at the end of the battle, performing an additional attack. The battle will end when all combatants have run out of AP, or when all combatants at one side have been defeated. You can also press Y to view the to view the battle log and, re and review the skills that were used in battle. Yay! Battle results. If neither unit is defeated in a battle, the side with the lower percentage of uh, HP remain is the, looter, the loser. Upon losing a battle, then the defeated unit is knocked back and enters a waiting state, rendering it immobile for a short, uh, short time. We almost had them. Just one more push. Alright. Okay, let's battle once more. Engaging a waiting unit will grant the attacking unit a first strike. A unit executing a first strike will always act first, regardless of initiative. Come then. At all. Light. There we go. A fine job. Nice. Good. All that remains now is to reclaim the town. That's where Lex is. Sorry, that's where Lex headed, right? I hope he's okay. Liberating facilities. Garrison garrisoning a unit in a town, fort, or other facility will allow that unit to liberate the facility. Okay. The time is at hand. Onward. Onward to garrison. For the liberation. Yay, two Valor Points. Liberating facilities will replenish Valor Points and boost your score upon completing the stage. Additional facilities have been... Sorry, or, sorry. Additionally, facilities that have been liberated will soon or serve as bases from which allies' units can be deployed. Lex. Hey, uh, sorry about that. They caught, they caught me off guard there. But don't worry, everyone's safe. I made sure of it. I knew I was right to count on you, and I'm glad you're unharmed as well. Sure wish I could have done more though. Here, let me scout out ahead to make make up for it. Unit movement to units can be ordered to move into any location you specify. Okay. Select Lex's unit to move him into the mark area. Okay. Okay, 
Okay. I'm up. You got it. So, uh, what next? Uh oh. Just what I was hoping for. It's time for these to show these guys what I'm made of. All right. Sure thing. On it. You don't stand a chance. Oh no. They're gotten too eager there. Lex, no, we'll never make it in time. Allow me, your highness. Unit mobility. Different units have different degrees of mobility. The higher the stat is, the quicker they move to the battle stage. A unit combined mobility is determined by the individual uh, individual mobility state uh, stats of the members. I gotta slow down. Okay, deploy. Joseph's unit, and then... In the service of the royal family. I'll not fail you. Very well. I am your foe this day. Prepare to be struck down. Swapping positions. With two... When two allies' units are in close proximity, one can swap in from the other. Okay, damage predictions. Before battle, you will see the prediction of how much battle each unit will take note how these predict uh, predictions change when swapping units okie dokie it's not looking great this isn't gonna end well come there we go Yeah, we won. A trivial undertaking. Lex, are you right? Somehow, yeah. Sorry for making you worry. You know it's a miracle you even put that your armor on the first place. Here, this medicine per should perk you up again. Acquired healing tonic. When a combatant's HP fail, uh, falls to zero, they will be rendered inca incapacitated. Items and skills can restore HP and revive incapacitated com uh, combatants. Select the item op uh, op sorry, items option from the unit action menu to use an item. Okay. I just want to sleep. Items. There we go. Phew, I needed that. Chloe, perhaps you'd better serve watching watching after Lex uh, directly. I feel he's a bit about oh, sorry, I fear he's a bit of a liability of his own. Very much agreed. No more messing around, Lex. I'll be keeping a close eye on you. Uh now then, this area appears to be safe for the time being. Let us hurry it onto the safe onto the harbor. word, but that's Aldrich. He and I used to stand at the stalwart pillars of Cornea's Corne defense. What might possibly have changed him? Prepare yourselves, rebels. Any foolish en enough to defy Emperor Galerius must be put to the sword. It seems com combat's our only path, path forward. Indeed. Riddling... Sorry. Reading this land of the enemy must be our first and only priority, no matter who that enemy may be. So the time limit expires. Defeat. Okay, victory conditions. Defeat Hodrick. Okay. Move the cursor and holding the select units to give them all the same order. Okay. 
After selecting the desired units, use A and choose the choose the destination to order all select selected units to head port toward that location. Ordering a unit to move and pressing A during the battle stage will automatically pause the game. The, the move and item commands can be used even with the game is paused. Press B to resume the game. Ready. Uh You got it. What would you ask? Okay, hold on. We march. The path is set. Hang on, let me. I'm up. On it. I'll not fail you. As you wish. Ready. You got it. The time is at hand. To me. Um, what I'm I shall hold nothing back. I think I got this right. Oh no. Glory to the liberation. Okay. Come. I have you. I fight in me yet for the liberation. Awaiting your command. <clears throat> Onward. I'll not fail you. By your word. Sure thing. On it. I shall hold nothing back. Still trying to get used to this one. Stand true. The battle is won. I've not chosen my grave yet. What would you ask? Very well. The time is at hand. To me. Ready. You got it. There we go. Come. This struggle will only prolong the pain. Accept the mercy of a swift demise. I fail to understand, Hodrick. What has motivated this shift in allegiance? Joseph, Cornea's most decorated knight. I shall close the book on your tale myself. You won't touch them. Oh no. I have you. I fight in me yet. Such firm defenses. Our weapons barely leave a scratch. Perhaps my magic will work. Then leave this to me. Okay, fast forward. Hold CR to fast forward the game, advancing time quickly. Fast forward can be used in both stages and during battles. If the game is paused, fast forwarding will automatically resume it. Gaze upon the face of your demise. You face come. Come then.
Okay, there we go. Ever closer. <clears throat> the path is set. There we go. Your villainy ends here. Why are you doing this? You, who once stood as my mother's royal guard. Enough of your questions, well. Interfere, and I shall see you suffer for it. I wonder if he's mind controlled. <laughs> Okay. Now I can do I this one. You. By your word. Maybe I'll it'll work. I shall hold nothing back. Oh no, it's not gonna work. Hold fast. There we go, we did it. Yay. Stage cleared. This is fun. <laughs> Advance. Ooh. We got more funds. What foolishness is this? One such as I brought low by the cornea vermin that gnawed our ankles. You've fallen far indeed, Hodric. How many times did you stare death in the face at Her Majesty's side? Now, look what you've become. I may stand as your swordmaster no longer, but I can yet offer you a merciful end to your descent. Wait! Your Highness. Tell me, Hodric, do you remember the times you and I played together, when I was still just a boy? Yours was a bond of loyalty few knights could hope to equal. Why cast that aside and bend the knee to Galerius? I refuse to cut down a friend without first knowing how we've reached this grim conclusion. A simple reason is all I ask. Please. Elaine! The ring? What sorcery is this? Oh, my head. Oh, I knew he's mind controlled. I, here? I knew he was mind controlled. I was right. A spell to shackle the hearts of men. Tis the only way I can think to describe it, my prince. That ill fated day. All the lords closest to your mother turned upon her without so much as a moment's notice. Unfortunately, my memories end there as well. A frightful power, if what you say is true. This spell of control, it could be called. Such magic would go far in explaining how Galerius so swiftly brought Fevrith to its knees. I shudder to think what unspeakable evil I wrought upon our world these last ten years. Though there is no greater misdeed than turning my spear upon you, Prince Elaine. That's enough. You mustn't blame yourself any further. But I do wonder, how is this ring capable of unmaking the spell? In truth, I had believed it to be mere regalia. A symbol of your birthright and nothing more. To think the power of cleansing truly exists. Your Highness. That is the Ring of the Unicorn, ancestral treasure of Cornea's royal lineage. Legend speaks of your ancestors wielding it to purify evil, but I had believed such tales to be mere fiction. The Orthodoxy has a similar story about the Holy Unicorn. 
how it was a sacred beast able to purge darkness from our lands. It's entirely possible that the ring that bears its image is somehow capable of that same power. Hmm. Should Galerius's rule be built upon a foul sorcery that fetters our people, then this ring is the ray of light that will pierce its wicked heart. Your words ring true, my prince. Indeed. Were we able to free those bound by his cruel magics? It might just bring the Iron Wall of Zenoira crashing down. All told, I've often found myself plagued with doubt. Is it justice that guides our march, or paltry vendetta? Yet the answer is clear as day now. The path before us is laid bare, and all that remains now is to walk it. Walk it I will, Mother. Today marks our first foray into the mists of despair which hang heavy over our home. Mists that will soon be dispelled. It may take days, months, or even years, but I shall see the duties of my bloodline fulfilled and slay Galerius like the beast he is. Alrighty. And how does Hodric fare? Well, all things considered. Any fog that lingered in his mind seems to have cleared, and he stands ready to fight once more. By the way, your highness, allow me to brief you on our plans for when we arrive. Among the Liberation members I've mustered in my past excursions is a young yet skilled knight by the name of Clive. I'll ride to bring him to you the moment we've reached solid ground. You have my thanks. A word, Elaine? Is something wrong? Well... No, it's nothing. Are you sure? Anxiety will be the death of you if you keep it bottled up like that. It really isn't important, I assure you. It's just... Our lives have changed so drastically from the peace we had only yesterday. It barely seems real. I can't say I feel any different. But I've always known this day would come. It's why I've spent all these years training under Joseph's careful instruction. A shame you never had the chance to meet my mother. She was always one to blaze a path forward, royal blade in arm. But as her heir, I intend to lead in much the same way. Is that why you and Lex spent all your days banging swords down at the shore? You've seen that, have you? You know, Hodric was likely but one of many. And assuming the others who surrendered to Zenoira are being controlled as he was, we may just stand a chance in this. Yet our liberation is still in its nascent days. Promising, yes, but gravely fragile as well. Which is precisely why I'll need your help, Scarlet. To reclaim peace for all who have suffered. Elaine, I... Of course. I'll do everything I can. As is my role as a priestess of the Palavian Church. Hey, don't forget about me! <sighs> Lex! <laughs> what? I'm sorry, my prince. Decorum doesn't come naturally to this fool. It's all right. When you've known each other as long as we have, there's no reason to let formality bind us. But there are protocols to observe. Rules we must follow as vassals in service of the Crown. Still, I'm of the same mind. What mind he has, that is. I'll give my all in the royal name, Your Majesty. Thank you all. I couldn't ask for a finer group of friends. Nice. See your progress? Okay, I'll take story, tactical, expert. Okay. Without much difficulty. 
call to action. Elaine, why have you stopped? We're surrounded. Not the welcome party I was hoping for. Get your vile claws off of me! Uh oh. Let her go! I should have known you'd be behind this treachery, Renault. What is the meaning of this? Apologies for the icy reception, but we've business with the girl. What business could you have with Scarlet? Unhand her this instant. <laughs> no, I don't think that will be happening. I act under orders from Emperor Galerius himself. As for what he plans to do with her, that's not for one of my station to know. Yet I shall see it done all the same. <laughs> Oh no, we gotta save her. My work here is concluded. I leave the rest to you and your capable band. Don't worry boss, I'll earn my keep and plenty more. Oh dear, straight into hornet's nest, huh? We gotta do something, Elaine. Hear me soldiers, Kernaria. I ask that you stand aside from your, for your return prince. Sorry kid, can't do that. It's no, nothing personal, just following orders from our guy, guy paying the, from the guy paying the coin. Dang, we do not hope of a corporate coming such num numbers. Your Highness, with us, everyone, I beg you, come, my prince. So that's Clive, huh? I'm ashamed to hear you met such misfortune before I arrived. Your Highness, this man is Clive, the knight we spoke of earlier. A pleasure. Still, it rankles the mind. I never would have dreamt that Galerius was after Scarlet, and not you, my prince. Who was that knight who took her? His name is Renault, formerly a proud servant of Queen Elenia, not unlike myself. And just as I fell victim to Galerius and his foul magic, it would seem he has met with a similar fate. All the same, why Scarlet? Perhaps her role as a priestess has something to do with it. Lately I've heard tell of Zenoira's desire to spread its roots into the orthodoxy, making one with direct ties a prime target. In any case, the risk to her safety is clear should she fall into Galerius' hands. And sitting idly by only serves to stoke my worry further. Let us be off at once. Wouldn't do that if I was you. No chance you're helping the girl if you don't even know where you're going. And you are? Don't worry, he's a friend. A collaborator of mine by the name of Travis. Fancy way to refer to a spy. You need intel, dirt, or just the latest weather. I'm your man. <laughs> and what of Renault? Road east, faster than a clap of thunder. I can only assume he's going for the city. But the real problem is his army of mercenaries. We won't have to Renault. We've got to go through them. Your Highness, we all share your sense of urgency, but we've no hope of aiding Scarlet without first routing the enemy before us. Right. We depart as soon as we're able. Alrighty. So that fortress over there serves the enemy command post. Indeed, your highness. Sorry, indeed, your highness. And the region will now know peace until we. Sorry, will not know peace until we can claim it. House Carl. House Carls are excellent attackers who can lower any defense to deal heavy damage. As for us, these fort this fortress here is our first and final line of defense. If the enemy overruns it, we'll have to know where to run. Then we'll defend it at any cost and proceed forth with extreme cash caution. Caution? <laughs> the Liberation's command post is captured. 
Defeat Albin. Okay. Stage start. Deploy. Alliance, you Forgive the intrusion, your highness. But I believe our units will struggle without the proper changes to our formation. In information, press X on the deployment screen to adjust an unit's formation. Before engaging the ultimate sorry, the enemy and mercenaries, press X to to adjust a unit's formation. Okay. Okay, uniform on the screen you can swap and remove members of given units. Okay. Perhaps we ought to explain the strengths of each class type first. What say your highness? Classes e um, each character has a class that determines their combat affinities, as well as what weapons and skills they're able to use. Okay, listen to the explanation, don't listen. Such information will prove quite valuable, yes, please go on. As you wish, my friends. To begin with, cavalry classes such as mine are quite effective when facing enemy infantry. As such, you may always call upon me to dispatch infantry in your path. Knights. Knights are highly effective against infantry-based units and can traverse stages swiftly due to their high mobility. Remember, your highness, the danger lies around each every turn upon the field of battle. Yet the shield I bear is more than capable of defending our allies from harm. Hoplite. Boasting great shields, armor, and high physical defense, hoplites are stout warriors that excel that at protecting their allies. Defend, d defending's not the only way to survive, though. If you ask me, you're better off not getting hit in the first place. If you put me in the front row, our enemies won't, won't be able to touch us. Thieves. Thieves have high evasion, allowing them to swift dodge enemy attacks in the front row. Generally speaking, you'll find it best to place your sturdiest soldiers in the front row while reserving the back row for frailing combatants. Look upon the following formations as ex examples of how you may wish to deploy. Okay, example unit, Lord and Knight. The Lord in the front row will bear the, the brunt of enemy attacks while the Knight in the back row cuts down enemy infantry. Okay, the Lord and Hoplite share the burden of enemy attacks and the Lord will heal when he, is, he uses lean edge. The thief in the front row will draw and evade enemy attacks, while the lord in the back row can focus purely on defense. Okay, thank you everyone. I'll certainly be keeping in mind while you're fighting. Okay. So, formation. Okay, Clive. Sec, uh, reposition. Oops, hold on. Okay. And then, um, next one is Travis. Oh, already? That's it? Oh, okay. Okay then. They will be ours. The time is at hand. Onward. There we go. You face me. Good. Nice. Another step forth. Okay, level two. A fine bout. Okay. The path is set. I should like two big ones and a little one little one. Oh, I don't know. Closer. We march. Onward. 
Dang it. Looks like they got their air crawls. Uh, looks like they got their crawls. Or guys crawling all over the harbor. And judging by the appearance, I suspect they have more units ready to join the battle at any time. Enemy reinforcements. Facilities controlled by the enemy area will uh, occasionally call reinforcements to the battle. Try attacking the enemy controlling the facility if you wish to stem the tide. This will force them to heal, stopping them from summoning reinforcements. Take the strike. Nice. Well fought. Okay. Engaging the in battle consumes one stamina. Seen on the shield to read units right. Units with zero stamina will be able unable to move. A unit's starting stamina will be determined by its leader. When possible, your highness, you should try to avoid using only a single unit in battles. Should their stamina be exhausted, they will have no choice but to rest where they stand until they recover. Okay, select rest from the unit's action menu to select so the command to rest. They will, the unit will then enter a waiting state and recover and set, set, uh, sorry, set amount and stamina. Keep in mind, a resting unit is defenseless against enemy attacks. If the defense enemy engages a resting in unit in battle, that will be an enemy to use act active or passive skills. Okay. I guess we're still good, though. The time is at hand. To me. Mm, the bridge here appears to be hit by enemy spear bearers. Not only are they capable of delivering piercing attacks to an entire column, but they are will heavy damage and to cavalry as well. I suggest you exercise the utmost caution in handling them, my prince. Piercing item attacks. Some skills like the soldier's long thrust can pierce an enemy unit, that damaging enemies in the front and back row to the single column. Commands are arranged in the column, oh, sorry, and are susceptible to piercing attacks. As such, you should try to stagger them instead. Okay, unit attacks. Move the cursor to unit and press X to view key. A final reminder, Clive. Let us continue. consider well the enemy's strength before the matching of the battle. Okay, so... We march. Okay. Let me see, hold on, where's my... Where do I go? <laughs> I think, where am I? Alright then. We march. Onward. The time is at hand. Come then. Okay. All right, I guess we're good. I always want to make sure. Yeah, it's not that bad. Okay, so I guess we're out of a... Uh... Set. 
Your villainy ends here. There we go. A fine job. Level up. On my honor as a knight. Victory grows ever closer. Hey, kids aren't half bad. Come on, boys! It's time we reach the teeth of more proper up against. There are more of them. You gotta be kidding me! Alas, it is no joke. I said just we stand our ground and await their advance, rather than charge uh, charge blindly forward. Okay, garrison effects. Facilities such as towns and bridges have very uh, garrison attack uh, effects, which are bestowed upon the unit garrisons present. These are effects can these effects can prove are quite powerful so try to try so try to garrison so, so try to garrison units and facilities whenever whenever enemies approach if you wish to review the facilities garrison effects sim simply move the cursor over the uh, facility okay you can now skip battles by pressing if often better to what it's often better to watch battles play out after skipping them, preventing you from leaning away while you know one or lost. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and stop this video right here. So I just want to say thank you all for watching and I'll see you guys next time in the next one. Bye bye.